Hi, I'm G. And I'm Michelle. And we are the Band, the band Pickers. Pickers. How are you guys doing today? Good, good. Oh, good, good, good. Blech. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're doing a haul video, men's ish mixed stuff. Men's ish mixed stuff. And we got a puppet. And a puppet. I actually just got to scare the kids, and it actually works. <laughs> it did <laughs> work. It scares them, so. Rose is the most scared. Yeah. She didn't like it. She didn't like the it. The baby likes it. Okay. Yeah. So, um. There we go. Puppet. Yeah. Are you going to wear it the whole time or? Um. <laughs> no. Okay, good. Okay. So there you go. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> it's kind of old. I don't know that it's good. It's just animal toys. Oh, it's like from the 80s or something. Isn't that what we said? 1980. Yeah. So it's interesting. I don't know. It's outside the box, right? The kids like it, so. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, yes, we went to the bin. Uh, twice. Twice. We didn't get a lot of men stuff. We didn't. But we got some pretty decent men stuff. Mm -hmm. So, we'll show you that. Women stuff, I think we did really good. I think we got some really awesome, cool women's things. What do you think? Yeah. I think yeah. so. I'm excited to do the women's haul. But, <clears throat> We're going to uh, do the men's first. We'll do this first. I, yeah. I forgot to say last week... The best thing I got, remember, was a $25 gift card from Walmart. It was oh, in the parking yeah. lot, like out on the parking lot. And um, it was all run over and beat up. But I'm like, I'm going to pick it out. I always pick up gift cards, especially if I see if them in the bin, the bin yeah. you know. Always pick those up and then check the balance just in case. Yeah. And so I checked the balance on this one. It still had 25 bucks. Yeah. So, so that paid, because we only spent like 22 bucks at the bin that day. I think so. It wasn't very good. But yeah, nice yeah. to get a gift card, right? Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Woo! Woo, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the bin, we've had quite a few people say, oh, I went to the bin for the first time and oh, everything was garbage or, you know, we get a lot of comments like that. And sometimes it is. It is. You know? Sometimes it's straight up garbage. And, you know, that's all we were saying in our one video is sometimes it isn't that good. But if you dig, you get in there and you really dig, you can still find some stuff. Yeah. You know? But it's really fun when you go in and there's 20, 30, 40, $100 bills just everywhere. Everything you pick up is like that. That's when it's really fun. Sometimes yeah. the bin's fun. Sometimes it isn't. It's like a box of chocolates. Oh, geez. You never know what you're going to get. Really? Yeah. Really? But if you just keep eating them, eventually you'll find a good one. That's true. That's the point. <laughs> no, you got to cut them in half, see what you want. Then that's what you pick. I like them all. So. I don't like surprises. Well, there you go. I like it. I like same thing. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, yes. So here's our men's stuff. Actually, this is women's. We're starting with the women's. Are they stuff. women's? I mean, or they're maybe women's. they're men's. They're Ray Bans. I don't know. Um, they're kind of scratched up with their prescription, so I can't see anything through them. But they need to be cleaned up. But somebody could get them and change out the lens. I'm not sure. They're not like the super good ones that they have. Some of them are really so good. So, I'm not yeah. really sure on those. I might have to do but a little more But when you pick research. them up at the bin, I mean... It's like, even if you sell them for 10 bucks, that's yeah. the score. Well, I think they're better than that, but we'll see. Ugg. Men's Uggs. We actually got quite a few Uggs, huh? We there did. was a lot the of shoes. The women's we got. But all these shoes... Okay, let's talk about like that. She had like a half a cart full. No, I had uh, 10. It was, I think it was 10. It was like the full... No, I think there were more than that. You was had... There? Coach boots and other oh, that's right. and mini Uggs and then Tory Birch and but there were Uggs singles. like I'd never had seen before. They were like the like, heeled ones, but they were furry, but they weren't like the clogged like ones. Like real hair. Yeah, they were so cool. And then two Tory Birch shoes, those cool Uggs, another cool pair of Ugg boots, um, Coach rain boots with the like seal. All these awesome shoes. Can I find the other ones? All singles. Nope. Because our bin, they don't take the two minutes when or two seconds when they get the donation to lot up the shoes. They just put them all in bins. And then, so you might find the shoe, you know, the match way down at the other bin. And that's frustrating because if somebody down there has pulled that shoe and then they have it in their cart and then they're holding on to it, then you'll never find the shoes a match. are tough there. It's like. Well, then there's people that just get shoes there, and they're like crazy fanatic, and they just grab like any shoe they want, and then they match up later. Well, there were some guys, they had a whole bunch of single shoes. I said, are you going to throw back any of those? I have a bunch of single ones. 
You know, just in case one I have might be in your cart. No. Might. Okay, fine then. So I had to throw back all these single shoes. It was kind of frustrating. Yeah. Like there were we, some really cool shoes there in there. There was such good shoes. When we were in Oregon, they used to lot up the shoes, like rubber band them together. Right. And we knew an employee there, and she said that's what they had to do. The employees had to take the time, you know, match up shoes. So then that way when they were brought out, there were matches. They obviously don't do that here, and I think that's frustrating because you know that stuff's just going to go in a landfill and just be thrown yeah. in the trash instead of, you know, take that little bit of time. Goodwill outlet in Indianapolis, just match them up. <gasps> well, anyway. they would sell most of them if they did that. Absolutely. Because there's so many singles. You find them all the time, singles. And you look and look and look and never find the other. And it's sad. Who knows it makes where sad. the other shoe is. But yeah, it's sad. Anyway. USA, Polo Sport. It's 90s. I love these. It's a little dingy, hats. so maybe yeah. we'll wash it. I will. It I'll, I'll wash it up, up a little bit. See what it looks like. But, but some of those hats can be like 50 bucks. Yeah. They, maybe 30. But they're super lightweight. So this too is a 90s one. It's Polo Sport, which I think they stopped making in the 90s. Yeah. Um, it has the RL flag on the front. I'm I'm gonna guess like thirty bucks for that hat. I bet at least. I mean, some people put some of these on for like a hundred bucks, but they don't sell them. The, but the thing though with sending those out to auction too, a lot of times we send like Ralph Lauren stuff out to auction, then it sells really high, and the people don't pay. Yeah. Like I found that over experience over the last you know fifteen years of selling Ralph Lauren stuff, that happens a lot. Yeah. With the Ralph Lauren like polo vintagey stuff, so I'll probably put them by it now. Yeah, maybe. And re require immediate payment. Okay, so this, she grabbed this, like, I think we were, like, in line or something, right? And you're like, Well, it hey. was the last switch out. It was right at the end. And she I didn't know what this, it was. And she didn't know what it was. And I thought, when I first seen her, that she had this, I'm like, man, that's like a real NASCAR jersey. But then when I felt it, you know, it's not, like, fireproof. Like but it doesn't feel anything. like a cheapy costume But it's not, either. like, a cheap costume, right? So it's, the, you know... Cal but this from Houghton Jr. from Talladega Nights. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that movie. I know. Well, you know. I think we watched that like you probably watched million it million years ago. I didn't watch it. It's old, right? Well, you think I would have known who it was? Anyway, so you can get one from Singapore right now for 113. The last used one sold for 75. And people were selling them like now, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna list this out for 75 bucks. See what happens. Yeah, I mean. I mean, because it's a nice... It's, I didn't know what it was, but I'm like, it's not like a cheap costume. No, I mean, it has so a nice zipper. So, we got it. it. I, I wasn't sure. We just got because we were checking out. And then when she looked it up, I'm like, hey, good thing we got it, right? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Okay, so... <laughs> so, sometimes you walk into the bin and stuff just doesn't fall into your cart. I mean, sometimes you really have to dig to find stuff, right? Right. And other times... You walk into the bin and someone hands you <laughs> stuff. So. so this one guy we know that goes there, he's super nice. He had this stack of jeans. He doesn't get jeans. So he's like, oh, I've been waiting for somebody that would, you know, sell jeans. Do you want this big stack? I'm like, okay, we'll take them. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so we walked in and he just handed them. He's so nice. Us. So Rock Revival Men's. They are missing the R on the back. Yeah, so on the back. But I'm still. Tag, the R is out, but. They're still pretty good, I think, with men's. And they're a good size. They have a thick stitching on them and stuff. So, I mean, what were we saying? Like a bit, 35 bucks? 40, 30, 40. 30, Some, 40 for these I, other jeans. I, would, I didn't really look them and up. And other people have said I'm it, guessing. too. If you make friends with people at the bin or they know what you kind of get, um, you can luck out and they might just hand you a stack of jeans. Yeah, or they and might we hand have a, a few people stuff. that are like regulars there almost all the time that do right. give us some stuff. Once yeah, so it definitely so, pays but off. But he gave us all these jeans. True Religion, men's 34. What size? Were these 34 too? I'm not sure. I think so. This is probably all the same person's jeans, huh? Probably. Uh, 34. Yeah. yeah. Well, he gets like vintage t-shirts and vintage Nike and stuff. Yeah. And I said, we probably have some. We should just give him a stack of shirts. Yeah. Because he does a lot more like um, local sales, I think. So these men's true religion are still pretty good. Yeah, they good, look pretty right? good. I they mean, might be better on Poshmark. Um, so we might list them over there. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them or put them out on eBay. But I like it when they hand it to you. Size 34. But these Paisley ones, remember I said somebody had sold them with that Paisley for, what did I tell you? 
49 I, bucks or something. I don't know, maybe. Maybe some of them are better. But yeah. And nice. they look nice. I mean, they have a little bit. Well, these ones actually don't have really wear on the hems. No, they look um, pretty good. They look pretty nice, yeah. So, so far, they were all size 34. Let's see. And I'm sure this, this is, is the too. last pair. Yep, size 34. Yeah, you, know, you just want to check the tags, make sure that they're real ones. So, you put any of them together? I don't know, but some people might only like a certain style. Yeah. So, it's like, I mean, I'll combine shipping. Ricky Super T. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that was a score. Seriously, right when we walked in, he was like, oh, hey. And then I'm like, woo, I just put it in my cart. Great. Sounds good. My cart is half full now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. <clears throat> Ralph Lauren plaid uh, patchwork shorts. Yeah. We usually list these out for like 15 bucks. Yeah. Some of these funky print ones are better. Yeah, that's true. You like these little Speedos. I like these little Speedo. Some are better. Not 40. as good as they used to be, but these are size 40. That's pretty big size for a Speedo. I mean, right? Mm -hmm. So he also gave me this, and I don't know why. I just, I can't leave this stuff <laughs> behind because it's not that good, And but I still get it. But, but it's this from is the 40s, right? It's World War II. 1942, <clears throat> it's dated. has some patches. It has a pin. What is this pin? Is it, nah, you know? I think it was supposed to have something on it. See? Oh, so we should just take those off or just leave them. I don't know. These patches I'm are cool. I'm not sure they come off. So It actually looks really nice shape, though. Yeah, I just... It's just sad to see this. What's sad? It's like it was probably some of these grandpas, you know, and they just like... I don't know. Just, yeah, so 1942. Yep. Mm. Wow. But... I, I don't recommend picking them up. I just, um, I hate to... But some of them are good. You got to find the right collector who is, yeah. you know, some of them. It just depends. Obviously, it's not a deck jacket and stuff like but that. But hopefully, I can find someone who will give this a good home and then it won't go to the landfill. You know what I mean? And That's true. And just be thrown away. So. so, I pick them up. Same thing with old flags, stuff like that. I hate to leave those in the bin. I don't like to get personal on things but when it comes to that you know you maybe i can't sell it who knows what i'll do with it but okay so I you actually you actually picked this up it's just a tablecloth matuk table linen or something so i looked at their website some of their tablecloths are like 595 dollars for a tablecloth a tablecloth this one's a smaller one um, it's not linen. It's cotton polyester. But somebody sold one a little bit bigger. was for 70 bucks or something, something like that. Something like that. It's crazy. And I know, really right? Light. So I'll probably list this out for 50 bucks. See what happens. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> and maybe I'll sell it for 10 I but don't know. But that's an outside-the-box thing. It's just a tablecloth. She grabbed it. Well, I saw it, and I was like, nah, maybe I'll get a tablecloth, you know, because I never use them, so I might as well have a bunch of them. Right. I have a stack of them, but then I'm like, no, that looks kind of fancy. I'm going to look it up. Yeah. And I'm glad I did. It looks fancy. It's pink. And, well, you know, the packaging, and then it has this whole story of their company on the back. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Good good score. More jerseys for our jersey collection. Yeah. Pacers. Reebok. Swingman George, George. jersey. Yep. There mm -hmm. you go. No idea. We need to send these soon, things out. Soon. This has some deodorant. I'll have to get that clean, but... Same this is thing. the same thing, huh? Yeah. Huh. Someday I want to send out all these jerseys. And yeah, I think it's getting more. close to time. Football's going to start, Somebody sent right? it out to auction, sold it for 32 bucks. For this one? The same one, yeah. Super Bowl champions, Steelers, number six. Yeah, that's And it has cool. all the years they were champions on the back. It is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, can I put it on so by now for 30 bucks? I can try it. I think it's worth at least that, don't you? I think we need to get on that because now we have more stacks of jerseys. Okay, so these things really aren't, I don't even know what they are. Really not men's, but witch doctor necklace collar. So, it's obviously for Halloween. Let me see. This. Wait, it's for Halloween? Yeah. Or if you're a witch doctor. Novelty use only. Item is not produced or pro product of any Native American organizations. 
Um, I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a company on the back. I don't even see it. I don't know. But uh, there was a bunch of this stuff just in the bin, and I'm like, I bet there's a witch doctor out there somewhere who would like it. So this is a uh, hair extension. It's for like it's dressing cool. up for Halloween. But it's like nice. It's not like super cheesy. Yeah. It even so says like a big necklace. feathers are farm raised birds. <laughs> oh really? Real feathers then, huh? I don't know. It's kind of cool. You're really excited about these. <laughs> I, don't know. I thought they were kind of cool. Got some gloves to go with it. You got the whole thing. I mean, I don't know if you put it all together. There's actually another. There's two of these, so. Yeah, maybe, huh? They were just in the bin, and I'm like, hey, those are cool. And, you know. I used to know some witch doctors, so. You did? No, not really, but. You're making up stories? Maybe. Okay, moving on. Nike? Has a snag on Brazil. it. No name on the back. I like to pick these up. It actually has a couple little spots too. I'll have to look at I see that. What's Marmot. This? So this jacket was actually the lining of another jacket. Oh, right. There was like a soft shell jacket. But the zipper was broke and it was all messed up. So I just zipped this out of the other one and just took this instead of... It needs the, like a washing. Like, yeah, like it's, hairy, it's kind of but hairy. But. It actually looked nice otherwise. This was nice. Yeah, so I was pretty happy to get this. Nice, long men's trench coat. Yeah, and it has like the plaid lining. Yeah, Burberry. Now with this stuff, if I, if I can't sell this, I'll just burn it. I mean, that's what they do, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. <clears throat> yeah, so seriously, like, did you guys see that? I know people have seen it because somebody posted on Instagram, but he was reading me a story. They just burn it like i cannot believe these you know high-end companies they just oh if you know it's like if nobody wants it we're just gonna burn it if nobody buys it it's like it's just but they burning said, their product well, i think it wasn't only burberry no, there was, was other like Gucci, but I think, I think over like five years it was a hundred million dollars worth of their product they burnt I understand. I mean, that's not good for the environment either. I mean, I know. Seriously. Burning it? Right? I was like, give it to some homeless people. They're not going to resell it. Let them have a nice coat or something. They probably would. This size 42 no, minutes. It's just so frustrating. I'm really not going to burn it. I should be able to sell it. You should be able to, yeah. It's a nice coat. It looks really nice. Like, I didn't see flaws on it. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit. I guess you got to wipe off on the collar, but it looks really nice. It's pretty nice. It is frustrating. I mean, I understand why companies do this. They want to keep their product high, you know, cost. I mean, but price. But burning? I mean. Why are they making so much? Why do they have to burn so much? If, why are they making that much? Make it more limited edition. I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand it. Can you think of all the time that went into making the stuff and everything else? And then they just burn it. Yeah. Well. It's so sad. From now on, they can just donate it all to me, and they won't have to burn it. I'll take care of it for them. Yeah, right? Yeah. So this is a Pendleton, what do they call it, an Afghan? Yeah, it has like fringe. Um, I didn't see any holes in it. No, it's pretty nice. Yeah, so these, you know, Pendleton plaid blankets, I like them. Yeah. yeah. So what's it worth? I'm surprised, so, I mean, though, how much Pendleton we actually find here. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know. I would say I'm going to price that probably 40 bucks. 40 bucks. That's okay. probably what I'd price it at. We like these little Nike. Yeah, so I didn't compression. think these were men's, but she looked up the number. And someone says, how do you look up numbers, all this stuff? So why don't you explain that one well, more so time? Well, so on Nike, the little white tag underneath. So 636161. And it's not on That's every Nike piece. Like the older stuff's not going to have it. But... Google. She just does on Google, right? I just, you just do go Google, to Google or eBay too. But you know, there's a bunch of numbers on here. So there's usually like, the so like a number on the top, and then the size would size be there, small. and then there's another number with, with a, a dash. dash. And the you don't use the dash. The number right? after the dash is the color. So if you if it's some funky color, you can actually Google like Nike color codes and see what color yeah. the stuff. But would just be. Google. You put in Nike, and then you put in three six six. Nike. Nike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
636161. Uh, and then you and know then what it's called. It comes up and it says they're men. It's just so. like Lululemon stuff. If you know what it's called, it's you can put that in the title. And a lot of stuff have those numbers. So you, if it's not Nike, Absolutely. it's something else. You put in what the brand right. and then that number on Google. Right? That's usually what I do. And then I'll look on eBay. Or I'll look on eBay too and see what people have them on. Yeah, some people put the number. You don't put the number when you list it, though, right? If I'm putting it on single, yeah, usually you'll put the number. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because some people might be, and it'll show up in Google search, too. If somebody searches that number, your eBay listing might come up. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Outback Survival Gear. It's like Indiana Jones or something, right? But it's like small Looking. Indiana Jones. Yeah. It's like a wax, I think it's, it's missing the, yeah, it's, yeah. it's leather. But it's like coated leather, so it's like waterproof, right? Yeah. I don't know. But I it's like buffalo. I like these oh, right. I believe it did. No, you say that. Buffalo say leather it? or something? 100% buffalo leather. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what we got for the men's. Um, not a lot of stuff, but some pretty decent stuff, I think. And... Um, we got a lot, a lot of women's stuff. A lot of women's. We we haven't been getting picking up very much men's stuff. I don't know why. Oh, there for a while we were getting tons of men's stuff, and now it's the just, men's stuff is not as much. You know, it's like a box of chocolates. Yes, you know we know we're we're this. We know this. I think you've said that already. Well, I just wanted to make it clear. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had fun going to the bin. Yeah, I brought the baby both times, so you know it's like harder to dig when you yeah. have the baby, but. Like, we went yesterday, and it seemed like we could get right up there. There wasn't a lot of people No, there. it wasn't very busy It was yesterday. beautiful. And, I mean, I think we got, like, 50 pounds. Or, no, we got 70-some pounds yesterday. Did we? Yeah. There was tons of new with tag stuff, women's stuff. Well, tons of women's stuff. It blows stuff. our mind. Like, you can tell somebody just donated because it's all stacked up like this, just, like, all these new little tank tops and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll show you the women's hall probably, in like, on probably Thursday. Probably Thursday, yeah. Yeah. So Thursday, women's hall. We're gonna get we'll work on getting some of these things on, see how that goes, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna do this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we had like one sale yesterday, yeah, on eBay, slow. one or maybe two because we had one on the women's, one on the men's. It was very slow for us. No, but then I sold those other. I mean, we sold some stuff. Well, you sold some stuff this morning, some like suit things. Yeah, it's a little slow for us right now, but that's yeah. to be expected. I haven't listed anything. We and, haven't been listing. Um, I don't know why we haven't been listed, but we haven't. Well, it's just a lot of stuff going on. But now, like, list, 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 right? Yes, that's what we're in. List mode, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I know other people have I commented, too. I might have to go too. back to the bin again today, though. Oh, my goodness. But other people were saying they're just listing all the time, not making sales. It's hard right now. Like, for a lot of people. A lot of people are doing, I mean, some people are doing great. And yeah. they're selling a lot of stuff. Um, I think it just depends, you know. But it is, it is, this is recordly slow. Yeah, for, it, it really is. But then again, I guess I only have like 200 things on the women's. I mean, we don't have that much stuff listed. So I, know, I can, I, it's ex, as, ex, you know, expected to be. We're usually close to 800 things. Right. So hopefully we can build back up and get a bunch of stuff on. We're going to send out some auctions. And um, we have lots going on the next month. Yeah. You know, there's, there's seven of us in our family. Yeah. And five of us have birthdays in August. Yes. So, and then we just had the babies. So... Five birthdays coming up in August. So we have really busy August. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah. We're excited for that. Um, the kids are going to finish school because we started so late because we were moving and everything. Yes. So we're going to be finishing up school. What else? And just trying to do some fun well, stuff. For I'm going to go um, for my birthday. I'm going to go to some different bins, check it out. Yeah. Do some video maybe on that or something. That'll be do fun. Do a haul video of different bins. Yeah. Uh, just a short little close bin that we'll run to and check it out and see how it goes. See how it goes. I, yeah. I love to try different bins and stuff like that. So it is that's fun. what I'm going to do on my birthday. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to be 30, 31? 45. Plus, You're going to be 45. Man, <laughs> I feel like I need to buy a two-seater sports car or something. <laughs> no. So oh. we couldn't fit in it, right? Yeah, no, maybe you and me or maybe you and a kid might fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody that's had eBay open, you know, like following, like watching on Instagram, like seeing their stories and stuff. 
it made me a little sad that we have never gone. No. I mean, we didn't go last year because I had just had the baby. We didn't go the year before. I don't know why. Did they have it the year? How long have they had it? I don't know. And this year, obviously, we didn't go. To be honest, I don't even really know what it is. Well, it just, I don't even know. If, I mean, I'd like to go and see what eBay has to say. But what are they going to say? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they come out with. Well, they keep laying off people, laying off people. So, obviously, that's not a good sign. Oh, I wanted to talk about something. So, you know, old school, go to my eBay, and it'd be like the old layout. Super easy to navigate. Yeah. It's all on one page. I mean, it looked older, you know, kind of like, you know, layout, but super easy. We're old school, so we like that. But totally easy. You could see your actual 30-day total, not on the my eBay, where it shows you your whole total with the shipping and all that stuff. Yeah. Um. So it was super easy for us. Like, I love that. We've always used that one. Always the older yeah. layout. It's all right there. They changed it last week or something. Now you can't even go back to that old thing. I hate the new one. You have to scroll over to see everything. You can't see your 30 day or your total or even your total on your auction stuff. No, you got to go to sold to see. see how, right. So the sold is still the old format. It's messed up. I sent that every day. I'm like sending them feedback. This is terrible. It's so bad. You know, it looks a little nicer, but it's it's hideous. So I hope they that they change it back because that is so bad. Well, clearly the people that work at eBay they don't sell on eBay. You know, well, what like I mean? what are they it's doing? Like, you have to scroll over to see all your stuff, and then scroll down. You can't see your total. You can't see. It's so spread out too. Like you have to scroll. Why? 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 They already have so many glitches. Why are they messing with that? Why, why are they fixing I know, let's stuff fix that's some not of the broken? glitches instead of <gasps> fixing that stuff. But. Seriously, it's so frustrating. I hate it. Okay, but we're not negative. We're positive. No, I know, but I'm just saying, is anybody else having that? I mean, I know to, some people don't use that old layout. Like, I know Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing, she had showed her thing, and hers is kind of the older layout, too, when she had done a video. Yeah. So I don't know if she has, it has switched over for her, too. So I don't know if other people are in that situation where it's, you know, I mean, well, I'm it's just sure a concern. everyone switched over, right? But some people had already had the newer layout. I just oh. don't like the new layout. It's not that I don't like change. I just think there's so much more sliding and scrolling and that you have to do to get the same information you could the old way. Yeah. Right? You're old school. And people are like, well, you don't like change. That's why. Well, I don't like it when they change stuff that makes it harder. <gasps> <laughs> right? I mean, why Why you want to do that? Yeah. Why you want to do it? Why you want to make it harder? <laughs> well, and then when they're having all these glitches, to see they change something that what didn't need changing. Right. I don't know. I don't know. You could have went to eBay open and complained about it probably. Yeah. But. Oh, well. But everyone's having so much fun. I'm seeing all their stuff. They're all, everyone's meeting each other and oh, it would be so fun. Yeah. Don't you think it'd be so fun to go and like meet a bunch of people and just yeah, people that, so. you know, the same thing, do the same things you do. Yeah. It'd be fun. Okay, well, we're not going this year, obviously. He's antisocial. He likes nothing. Oh. If he oh. could live in the basement. Really? You're going to bash me again? <laughs> if he could live in the basement, that's what he'd want to do, huh? I could live in the basement. There's a bed, bathroom, <laughs> it's all... Not have to go out unless, go to the, unless you go to the bin. <laughs> that's... No, that's not true. Oh, I know. We're going to venture out to a different bin yeah. for your birthday. Yeah. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys are getting good stuff, making good sales. Um... Having a great week. Yep. Yep. Pick outside the box. Thanks for watching. Yes. If you go to the bin, a lot of times stuff just doesn't jump in your cart. You got to really dig. And sometimes you got to really, really dig and you don't find much. And sometimes good. you make friends and they hand you stuff. So it all yeah, is great. Sometimes. <laughs> and sometimes you just walk in and it seems like there's good stuff everywhere. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's different every time. It is. And it's fun. And it's exciting. It is. Yep. There okay. you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye.